anything about this crash through the offside by Trevor Ward it's only about 50 yards down the slope there North Ants have many bowling options yes they have David Capel in their ranks as well England all-rounder in his day Bailey who's started to bowl a little bit Tony Pemberthy who bats lower middle order batting at eight bowls seam up and a well balanced side missing Paul Taylor and Neil Malander they're two strike bowlers that's in the air and taken Snape takes the catch Fulton goes a shorter pitch ball from Curran flies off the shoulder of the bat and David Fulton is out 10 to 10 for one David Fulton on the back foot that's really very short from from Kevin Curran and Fulton looks to play it up on the back foot getting on his toes shoulder of the bat straight through to the fielder 10 for one Fordham can't stop it he probably should have done four fours to Trevor Ward two intentional and two of them not going quite where he was expecting Trevor Ward bludgeons this it's a big inside edge that's what he gets bit of bottom hand as well coming into it Fordham can't get there Ward has walked he's got an edge on that doesn't wait for umpire holder's decision. So success for both the Northamptonshire opening bowlers. Trevor Ward's gone for a quick fire, 26. Kent now 38 for two. Well, it's bounce again that does Trevor Ward. He's looking to whip this away on the leg side. Just a fractional bit of away movement and extra bounce. And Trevor Ward's on his way. Caught Warren, bowl Bowen. And that is four runs to Aravinda da Silva. A little bit short, helped away down the hill. Four runs. Oh, that's a bit of a risky one and a, by da Silva. He's going to get four for it. Outside edge, almost a grin on Aravinda da Silva's face there. Rueful, probably. It's another boundary. Ball of full length on this occasion. That didn't come back down the hill. Arvind the Silva looking for the ball to come back in towards him. But it held its own and got an outside edge. I suppose the end result is four runs. He'll be happy with that. Doesn't matter how they come in these one day games. That's in the air and out. Aravinda da Silva has just flicked that away off his legs. And Bowen down at uh, backward square leg on the boundary has held a very good catch to get rid of the danger man. Certainly was a very good catch. Bowen at backward square there, wide fine leg. You don't think he could be too sure exactly how far from the ropes he was. You could see him just looking to make sure that he didn't step up back onto the ropes. Arabinda the Silva departs, it's 79 for three. Oh, that's bowled him, there's no doubt about that. Tony Pemberthy absolutely delighted the ball swinging from outside leg stump and clipping off stump Nigel Long goes well this is a pretty awful shot Paul the ball swings quite a bit in the air but uh, Long very ambitious trying to play it through mid wicket over goes the castle Tony Pemberthy is delighted Nigel Long not so happy 81 for four now Kent Snape is going to bowl to Elam and that's a magnificent shot by Elam he's hit it over extra cover for six it is a shot of the highest class that's high in the air it's over the covers and it's a catch a six opportunity that has gone begging magnificent shot by Cowdery 
six runs. The chance was there for the lad in the uh, blue polo shirt, I think it was. He couldn't hang on to it. So no fun bags for him. And that's bowling. Cowdery has gone. Kumble has struck. And that is the fifth wicket down. I think Kojo got a little bit disappointed with that. Again, we are seeing Anil Kumble. The ball isn't spinning. Kojo looking for that ball to spin. No spin there. It's 1 for December 5. Oh, that's gone miles up in the air. I think it's going to be all over unless the ball hits the tree. And in fact, Fordham bailed out because I think he thought the ball was going to hit the tree. And what's happened is that Fordham has made a mess of it, he's missed it, it's bounced away, and it's gone for four without getting anywhere near the line. Now then, let's have a look at this again. It's very difficult to blame Fordham for this, really, because the ball was heading toward the tree. He was running toward the tree with his eyes on the ball. He realised he was getting close to the tree, not know exactly what was happening. And as you said, Charles, he had to bail out. That's high in the air. Kumble's underneath and takes it. Matthew Fleming will always give the bowlers a chance and he perishes in another run chase. A very unselfish cricketer, Matthew Fleming, always trying to increase the run rate for his side. Well, he loves these situations, but he won't love this shot, really. Looking to hoist that away on the leg side. That's into this very stiff breeze. Falling well, well short of the boundary, and safely into Anil Kumble's hands. Fleming goes for 14, it's 181 for 6. Kumble to Elam. That's a huge hit, that's probably into the lime tree. And it's uh, missed the lime tree, it hasn't missed someone's motor car and it's gone many a mile for 6. He's tried again, that's another six. That's 20 yards back into another of the marquees. That's in the air. And this time, Mark Bowen takes the catch. Steve Marsh departs, but to Mark Elam's still there for Kent. The seventh week it goes down. Kent, 217. Well, Marsh trying to do what, what Elam's been doing. Looking to hit to that short offside boundary. But he doesn't manage to get it past Mark Bowen out there at wide long off. Elam's got it away for yet another boundary. That's four to him. He finishes on 89 not out. And the Kent total 235 for seven. the edge the slip in position but he can't take the catch more frustration for Iggleston Montgomery picks up two runs well Eagleston has been having a lot of problems with his line he hasn't bowled too many good deliveries he has been straying wide above stump wide of leg stump and then he produces a very good one Steve Marsh, the Kent captain. The Keg has got the breakthrough. Alan Fordham has gone for just two. North Ants, 20 for one. McKeague has been bowling quite well. And there again we saw an excellent line just outside the Austin. He's been pushing the ball in towards the batsman. And Steve Marsh taking an excellent catch. It's 20 for one. Oh, that's not just the matter of the wind. That's been hit like an extra set. That's the biggest six of the day. And I would imagine that uh, the Kent captain sitting up here will be suggesting to me, and also to Dean Headley, is that he pitches the ball up. Yes, I think they're doing six on any ground, actually. I was talking about the wind. It didn't, the wind didn't help that at all. It just went absolutely miles low as well. Run. Close there. Another big appeal for a run out. 
And another not out from John Holder. As the leg stump goes flying. Well, John Holder wasn't in such a good position to give this decision. He was on the move. And once again, the batsman looks as though he's out. That's a bad ball, and it's been put away without any problems at all for six. It ended up a slow full toss. Montgomery was happy to put that one away. And I don't think anybody's caught it either in the crowd. Now there's a big inside edge, and at last, at last, at last, Kent say they've got a wicket. Montgomery's out. It's two down. Montgomery's gone for 60. And this has all the makings of being a classic finish. Well, Kent needed to take wickets, and finally they have had. They do take one. Not too sure about that shot from Montgomery. No feet anywhere near to the ball, but it's 158 for two. Here comes Dean Headley. Start another over. That's a terrific shot by Loy. He's been in hardly any time at all, and he's just eased that away. They're having a little look to see whether it was four or six. And it's gone for six. And that's four more. So Curran, who's been deprived of the strike of late, is back in the swing of it. And it's 1-8-1 for two. That's it this time. One of the best one-day hundreds of the whole season, Kevin Curran. Hasn't really taken any undue risks. Well-constructed innings from 90 balls with 1-6 and 13 fours. There's a man out there, it's gone sailing over his head. Six more, another chance for a spectator to catch a six, but the chance not accepted. That'll be four of them. Takes Northamptonshire on to 234 within two runs of victory now. Malachi Loy smashing that through extra cover. There's nobody out on the boundary. Steve Marsh has decided to try and save the ones, but look at the risks in this shot. Huge follow through. And that's beaten the player at mid off just through pace alone. Absolutely smashed away by Mal Loy. And that'll do it very nicely for Northampton. Mal Loy finishes it in good style and a convincing victory for Northamptonshire. Kevin Curran finishing on 119 not out. Mal Loy 39 not out. Northamptonshire winning by the massive margin of eight wickets.